Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures. Today's episode is about three meteor showers that are back to back from October to December every year. The Orionid, the Leonid, and the Geminid meteor showers. The Orionid meteor shower occurs every October, and along with the Eta Aquarid meteor shower, which occurs every May, are the result of the Earth passing through the debris left over from famous comet 1P Halley. Since Sir Edmund Halley correctly predicted the return of this comet, the first such prediction, and when astronomers first realized that comets could be periodical, it's named to honor him. Sadly, Edmund Halley died before the comet made its predicted return. The letter P indicates that Comet Halley is a periodic comet. Periodic comets have an orbital period of fewer than 200 years. Comet Halley was last seen from Earth in 1986 when it reached magnitude 3, I think. It won't appear again in our skies until 2061, and I will most likely be dead. <laughs> but as the comet orbits the sun every 76 years, it leaves a trail of debris when the nucleus spews out rocks and ice. And when the Earth passes through that debris every year, we get a meteor shower. As tiny bits of dust and ice slam into our atmosphere at over 40 miles per second, they burn up, creating those bright streaks of light that we call meteors. The meteor shower occurring in October is called the Orionid meteor shower because the radiant, the area of the sky that the meteors appear to emanate from, is the constellation Orion, the hunter. The Orionid meteor shower is active from October 2nd through November 7th, and the peak in 2025 occurred October 21st, and every year around that date, the Orionid meteor shower is visible from both hemispheres. To see the Orionid meteor shower, or any meteor shower, you just go to a dark sky site, let your eyes dark adapt, bring warm clothing, and either a reclining chair or a blanket to lie on. That's all you need to see a meteor shower, plus some patience. Some meteor showers are known to produce more meteors per hour than others. The Orionid meteor shower is an average meteor shower, producing about 20 meteors per hour if the sky is dark enough and the moon doesn't interfere. Also, since the constellation Orion doesn't rise in the northern hemisphere in October until past midnight, and the best time to watch this meteor shower is from about 2 a.m. until the sun rises. This year, I drove out to a dark sky park to watch the Orion meteor shower. And I'll show you a time lapse that I made of that meteor shower. I saw about 20 meteors in two hours, and I saw one fireball. But what I also wanted to tell you is that while October 21st was the peak of the Orion and meteor shower, you can still see meteors from this meteor shower through November 7th. And indeed, I went out uh, October 30th and I saw four meteors in quick succession. And incredibly, even with the first quarter moon blowing out everything else, I saw a fiery orange fireball pass over Perseus and headed toward the Pleiades. It must have been very bright for me to see it through the moon glow. It just goes to show you that you never know what you might see when you go outside and enjoy the night sky. The next major meteor shower after the Orionid meteor shower is the Leonid meteor shower, which is active from November 3rd to December 2nd. It's visible in both hemispheres, but better in the Northern hemisphere where Leo is higher in the sky that time of year. After several wild outbursts in 2001 and 2002, the Leonid meteor shower has been a real dud lately, but you never know. It will peak in 2025 on the night of November 17th to 18th. It's known to produce a lot of fireballs, and it's caused by the debris left over from Comet 55P Temple Tuttle. Then best of all, the best producing meteor shower of the entire year occurs after that, the Geminid meteor shower, active from December 4th to December 17th, with the meteor shower peaking on December 13th into the 14th in 2025, and usually around that same date 
every year. It's also visible in both hemispheres with the best time to view it when the radiant constellation Gemini is highest in the sky. In the northern hemisphere, that means around 2 a.m. The Gemini meteor shower, unlike the other meteor showers, is caused not by a comet, but by debris left over from an asteroid, 3200 Phaethon, also sometimes referred to as a rock comet, because it brightens and sheds material as it approaches the sun like a comet would. The Gemini meteor shower reliably produces about 120 meteors per hour from a dark sky site, and it's getting stronger each year, and it exceeds the output of the famous Persia meteor shower that we have every August. Unfortunately, the weather is very bad that time of year in the Northern Hemisphere. However, pretty much from late October to mid-December, we are in non-stop meteor shower activity. So your chances of seeing more than the average number of meteors is excellent during that time. So on the next clear night, get outside and look for some meteors. So long till next time, dark skies forever, Sula, signing off. <laughs>